This is J.P. Freeman from King Cop Lock, a uh, state police officer hit a uh, girl on a skateboard and put her into Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center um, in Lisbon, New Hampshire, just outside of Littleton in 22 minutes from Rogers Campground where Porkfest is held. And I'm um, trying to figure out where this accident happened. I believe this happened right in front of the police department, but I want to confirm. Hey, hon. You uh, see here, it's the Lisbon PD. It's uh, 5482, MP5482. And it looks like there's another cruiser right there. Um, it zooms in on it. 5483. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. I know this is uh, nobody here. see food this must be the dispatcher and the regular desk and if you see there's not much to Lisbon right here it's like just one big road right through it looks like they have like this bell thing right here I'm trying to figure out what's going on so basically, I'm a little bit skeptical about this accident because apparently it was a lieutenant commander of Troop F um, Police Department. I think it happened right here, but I'm not sure. But I'm um, trying to find out. Hello? I'm not going to say, I'll come back in a second, I just want to check out this scene. It looks like it's right, it was right here. Find out. Hey Jess! Looks like this is where where it happened. If, uh, this must be the blood of the poor girl on the... On the on the skateboard. I don't see any... since the, there's a stop sign right there right at the Lisbon Police Department and if she was coming down over here I don't I don't really see how the hell he can hit her and cause that much bodily injury unless he was flying around that corner so basically this is how they set up their reenactment um, if you notice these guys are coming coming down the street pretty pretty quickly here um, left front right front point of impact was right here 
right rear, left rear. So basically he was pointing this way when he hit her. Totally in the middle of the road. Jess. I just, for the camera, come here. I don't see, I don't understand how, how a car, an SUV going this way can hit a girl hard enough for her to actually get airlifted out of here. Look, this is the reenactment. This is the right rear tire, left rear tire, left front, right front. That means he was facing this way, in the middle of the street. He's taken up two lanes of traffic, right? He hits her. It looked like he came around this corner. Look at this, these drag marks. This is a point of impact right here, I bet. He must have been flying around this fucking corner. Looks like he flew around the corner. An impact right here. What is that one? That was the impact zone. And he was going fast enough to drag her all the way over here. This is where it ended, but the impact zone's over there. So how the hell is he going this way, fast enough to drag her from all the way over there? There's a blood mark there, blood mark here, blood mark here. This is where she ended up, on the ground. And this is where he stopped. And you can't tell me there's, there's gonna be an objective accident review on this. So I want to get the other side of the street real quick. Hands free. So, I'm uh, right here at the corner. Um, if I, you guys are just tuning in onto uh, Keen Coplock Raw, um, this is JP Freeman from Keen Coplock, um, better known as Centurion. Um, this is a street right here, and that's a street right there. Apparently, a, a state trooper yesterday I came flying around this corner for something on Water Street it's School Street Water Street so he was coming this way through here or this way through here but I'm gonna actually get the report and he came around this corner and hit a girl on a longboard and he was going fast enough where the impact zone was right here this is what the uh, what impact zero RP means. Second motor of impact was right here. If you see the blood marks right here, right there, right there, right here. These are actually blood marks that I'm pointing at right here. 
right here. And if you notice, there are no skid marks whatsoever. This trooper was not paying attention at all. See, there's blood right here. There's blood all over the ground. It's this poor girl got airlifted. And I don't think there's going to be an objective. Um, see this, uh, this paint stuff right here? This is to subside the blood so people don't see it. Um, and here's the uh, marks. This is all blood stains right here, people. Um, right here. And this is where his SUV ended up. This is left rear, right rear, right front, left front, end of impact, drag marks. Now, I don't know the full story yet, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Um, I'm not sure if this trooper was in his own vehicle or he was um, in his cruiser. But apparently he is the troop commander of Troop F. And these are blood marks right here. This is the ending. And this is the impact zone right here. She got air lifted out, so the helicopter probably landed right where Liberty Lady's car is. There's no response from Lisbon PD at this point, but this is basically where this happened just, just yesterday. Now I'm going to get the other end of the street. And it looks like there's another, another marker here. But um, he was traveling in this direction towards the camera. If you see the street, I'm gonna get the layout. He was coming around this corner at a pretty goddamn hefty speed. Now, I want the name of this guy, and I want a due process investigation on why he's taking up two goddamn lanes of traffic and going fast enough around this corner to almost kill a little girl that's in critical condition in a uh, Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. We don't know if she's gonna live yet, but I'm gonna stay tuned to that story and keep King P Coplock raw um, in cahoots of it. Um, the scuttlebutt on the whole thing. I really like to get some interviews from uh, the people around here. Um, if anybody saw it and um, I'm going to try one more time. Again, this happened right in front of the Lisbon Fire Department and right in front of the Lisbon Police Department and nobody's coming to the front um, to speak to me. You know, this is like nobody in the office right now. There are two cruisers out there, one on mark and one mark. Hello, anybody home? If you see a thing on the wall that says Lisbon Police, that must be their patch symbol. The defibrillator right there. Well, for the for the state police. If anybody's home, nobody wants an interview on a fellow cop almost murdering a kid, probably from driving recklessly. I wonder who's doing the investigation. I hope it's not the state police doing the investigation. But th this is a sad story. Very sad to happen right in front of the police department and someone driving unsafe.
And then you have the useless Lisbon police apartment that nobody's coming to the door with. But again, this is the this is the crash scene. And um I hope the girl pulls through. I really hope uh their families are okay and she's gonna end up pulling through this. And it's just too bad that it had to be a state police officer driving that fast to actually hurt somebody that bad. This is JP Freeman from King Coplock, coplock.org. I'll keep uh, keep everybody updated on this story.